world's fastest trains 2022. Have you ever thought about how fast trains are? High-speed trains can typically travel at speeds of 300 to 350 kilometers per hour or 190 to 220 miles per hour. Passenger train service on mixed-use HSR lines can reach top speeds of 200 to 250 kilometers per hour or 120 to 160 miles per hour. But what if I told you that there are trains that can travel at speeds faster than average? Would you be interested in riding in one of this? Today, we will reveal the list of the world's fastest trains. So buckle up because we're going on a bit of a speedy ride. See more, like this video, and subscribe to our channel. Transrapid 07 The Transrapid 07, Germany kicks off this list with one of its best representatives in speed. The Transrapid 07, which is a high-speed monorail train that uses magnetic levitation. Now let me explain about magnetic levitation, since you'll see it throughout the top, because thanks to the electromagnetic force, the train and the track function together as a magnetic depot, so that this 110 tons train's rapid carrying approximately 332 passengers floats on a frictionless magnetic cushion without any loss of speed. CRH-380BL When it was first presented to the general public in September of 2010, these high-speed train version with 16 cars made a quite a commotion in the Chinese press. Because of this team line design, which includes a more rounded head, and the fact that it has two headlines that seem like round eyes, giving it the impression of a rabbit. The CRH380BL not only made headlines for its high speed, but also because in August 2011, its manufacturer, China Northern Railways, had to recall 54 CRH. 380BL train sets used on a rail link between Beijing and Shanghai due to some flaws and breakdowns in the set units. The main problems with the train sets were the brakes and the air conditioning systems. In 2011, the speed of the CRH380BL was put to the test and it reached 302.8 miles per hour, breaking the previous record. Since then, it has been operating on the high-speed railway tracks between Shanghai and Hangzhou, as well as between Shanghai and Nanjing. Would you travel this train? I'm not entirely sure. Shanghai Maglev Train Even though it was built with technology from Germany, China has reclaimed its spot at the top of our list with a Shanghai Maglev Train. This magnetic levitation train is the oldest commercial line that is still in operation and it has been providing public commercial service since 2004. This train can travel at a maximum speed of 268 km per hour while being used for commercial purposes. But when it was being used for testing purposes alone, it hit a record speed of 311 kilometers per hour. Are you considering a trip to Shanghai? If so, the information that follows will be a great assistance to you. A round trip ticket and standard seats is approximately $10.13, whilst a one way VIP ticket costs approximately $12.6 on the Shanghai Maglev train. The Shanghai Maglev train has three classes of 574 passengers. Longyang Road Station and Pudong International Airport are separated by a total of 18.6 miles and may be reached by this line in roughly 7.5 minutes. There are many videos on YouTube in which people discuss their travels and the experiences they had. I've never had an experience quite like this one where it starts to turn right and you feel like you're floating over the rail at the same time, and you want to join the others who have already done so, said by one passenger. 
TGV Atlantic. It is the turn of a French monster that makes it into this position. Thanks to its speed of 330 miles per hour, the TGV Atlantic was developed by the French multinational corporation Alstom and is powered by electric motors. This train is 779 feet long and weighs 444 tons. It was designed to reach a top speed of 186 miles per hour. But because there is never enough speed, Unit 325 had some modifications made to it so that it can fly in a top speed line near Vendome, France. These modifications include improved aerodynamics and larger wheels. This unit, which has a total of two power cars and three carriages, is currently inactive. Nevertheless, it is being conserved by Alstom and La Rochelle, and some complete versions with 10 carriages and a capacity for 485 seats are still in use on several routes in France. ML500 This is the most peculiar train in this list, and it also has a narrative that is relatively distinct from the others. The small yet powerful train was unmanned, but weighs 10 tons. Passing with the ML500 allowed many advances in train technology in Japan. Stay tuned to this video as the successors of this mini train have risen to the top. The ML500 was built in Japan in 1997 to experiment with a vehicle performance at a high speed on Miyazaki Maglev test line. The ML500 measured 44.2 feet in length and 9.5 feet in height. It managed to reach a whooping 321 miles per hour. TGV Pause This is yet another lighting fast example of power of electricity on the tracks. With a maximum output of 36,300 horsepower, it did thrown the TGV Atlantic, which you saw in 7th place, when it hit the speed record of 357.2 miles per hour in 2007 during a test on the Paris to Strasbourg line. In order to accomplish this, the TGV pause number 4402 was constructed out of three duplex cars that had been particularly modified. Two power cars with larger diameter wheels and a modified catenary voltage. Alstom was responsible for the design of the TGV POS and the SNCF which is the French National Railway Corporation, is the one that operates it. It was put into service in 2007 and it connects France, Germany and Switzerland. Since 2019, every single TGV POS train set has been restricted to operating only on domestic routes between Paris Nord Station and Paris S Station. MLX 012 this magnetic levitation super train was manufactured by Nippon Shadio and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. It is one of the nine experimental trains that were tested on the tracks of the Yamanashi Maglev line. In a man test in 2003, the MLX012 demonstrated its great power by reaching a top speed of 361 miles per hour because it only had three vehicles and a short nose in the shape of a wedge to improve air resistance. He was able to accomplish that speed extraordinarily well. The bodies of these trains have a semi-monocute structure made of aluminum alloy and measure a total of 91.8 feet in length. Because it is built to tolerate variations in external pressure when traveling through a tunnel. The MLX-012 represented a significant step forward for rail transit in Japan. Maglev Bullet Train To confirm China's position as a pioneer in high-speed rail technology, the China Railway Rolling Stock Corporation 
has a developed monster train that is capable of reaching top speeds of up to 373 miles per hour, which is almost equivalent to half the speed of sound. 776.29 miles per hour. With its incredible speed, it can make the mile trip between Beijing and China in only 2.5 hours. The same trip takes a little over 3 hours by airline, 5.5 hours by current high-speed rail alternatives, or 12 hours by car. Although it is not yet operational, the maglev bullet train will be able to carry between 2 and 10 passengers' car over the next several years. In addition to its great speed, the train produces minimal levels of noise pollution and requires less maintenance than existing high-speed trains. SE Maglev 10 Series Japan once again demonstrated expertise on the track with the 10 series high speed train. The state of art Maglev model is propelled by electrically charged magnets and it departs the station in wheels. However, as it accelerates, the wheels retract and the power of magnet allows the vehicle to hover 4 inches above the tracks. It was because of this mechanism that the Maglev 10 was able to set a new record in 2015 by traveling at an astounding speed of 375 miles per hour. The most impressive aspect of this Japanese accomplishment is that a 7-car 10 series travel a total of 1.1 miles and approximately 11 seconds along a test track near Mount Fuji while carrying 49 employees of the Central Japan Railways. Staff members who had this extreme experience described it as a comfortable and stable ride. Its commercial operation will become a reality in 2027, with the construction of a road that will transport passengers from Tokyo to Nagoya in just 40 minutes. Making this possible will cost a staggering $50.5 billion. And as always, the United States couldn't be left behind when it comes to speed. It is time to present its latest creation that surpasses science fiction. XP2 Virgin Hyperloop Take a close look at this vehicle, because it represents the future of high-speed transportation. This is the XP2 Virgin Hyperloop, which is a variant of a vacuum train. This innovative technology employs electric propulsion and magnetic levitation to propel pods through a large vacuum tube. As a result, it is capable of reaching speeds up to 760 miles per hour, which is right up to 10 times faster than the conventional train. This means that passengers could get from Los Angeles to San Francisco in just 30 minutes, or New York to Washington in just 29 minutes for a fraction of price of a plane ticket. Who is responsible for such a feat? None other than the American transportation technology company Virgin Hyperloop in November 2020. After over 400 unmanned tests, Virgin Hyperloop will be able to transport passengers from Los Angeles to San Francisco in 30 minutes or New York to Washington, D.C. After this successful test, Virgin Hyperloop will present its commercial vehicle design in January 2021. Each vehicle will seat 28 passengers but it will be able to carry thousands of passengers every hour in convoys. It is expected that commercial operation will begin in the year 2030. These were the incredible train machines that you can hop on a ride. If you liked this video, please be sure to subscribe. There are tons of other videos that are surely interesting, so make sure you check them out.